Now, one way of representing data, and in a very basic way, is through a pictogram. Now, a pictogram you might have seen before on something like uh, near the back of the sun or the mirror, a paper with a sports section where um, it may be around like the World Cup time where they would use the World Cup trophy to represent the number of times a country has scored the World Cup, for example. So let's say, um, in my infinite wisdom of football, which is that much, okay, um, let's say we've got four players, A, B, C and D. You see how imaginative I'm being, okay? So A, B, C and D. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, right, well... Each of these players scored a certain number of goals this season. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this football, or this circle in this case, to represent four goals. So this is what we refer to as a key. And every pictogram must have a key. It must explain what the symbol that it's using means, what the picture means, hence pictogram. So, the circle represents four goals. So let's say A scored this many goals, and B scored this many goals, and C scored this many goals. And D scored this many goals. Okay, so we're going to have this extra frequency column alongside. And it may well be that there are these four gaps that we need to fill in to solve the problem. So... If, two, if one circle represents four goals, then two circles must represent eight goals. Okay, that's nice and easy. For player B, we've got four goals, another four goals, another four goals, so that's 12 goals. And then we've got half the circle, and that must represent another two goals. So half a circle must be two if the whole circle is four. So four, eight, 12 14 goals. Now player C has four goals with that whole circle, but then we've got a quarter circle. And a quarter of a circle must represent just one goal. So four goals plus the one is five goals. And then the last thing we need to do to complete the pictogram is to fill in what 15 goals would be represented by using the symbol. So we would have four goals, eight goals, 12 goals, and then I need to represent three goals. So it's going to have to be three quarters of a circle, like that. So it's kind of like a misshapen Pac-Man. So <laughs> this is how you work with a pictogram. So we use things like this and a shape that is relatively nice to cut up into several pieces in order to sometimes represent data more colourfully.